Okay, I finally got to attack a really good Marauders team with Emma. Uh, she just dropped this week, so of course this is all brand new to everybody. But my alliance drew Pants of Hulk uh, for Alliance War <laughs> in the first wars that she was dropped. So this is of course a great time to test new stuff, see how it goes, and try to figure out what's the best course of attack. So this time I am using Extron, which of course is very overwhelming. Uh, you can see here I have a tier 14 uh, Colossus and Phoenix and Ultron and then a tier 12 uh, Psylocke and Storm. So Psylocke and Storm are there more for utility than anything else. Um, not not really expected to control the fight with their levels compared to what we're going against here. Uh, he has, of course, 131k Sinister, which is pretty crazy. Uh, seven red Strife, and then six red Mystique and Sabretooth, and then a four red, six gold Emma Frost. Um, they're also in engineering, so they don't really need it, though, because they start with the defense up thanks to Emma Frost passive now. Um, so, of course, we finally get Marauders with defense up on spawn, which is what we We've always wanted for strife so let me break down this fight and show what I'm doing here and why we're doing it um, so on spawn of course sinister gives himself three energy which really only matters on second attacks um, or secondary attacks uh, but of course uh, strife gets plus 500 speed bar because he has all of these uh, villain mutants with him and of course he taunts and then Sabretooth and Mystique assist off of that because it's a non-attack ability and they both have their uh, passives maxed I'm sure. So you can see here um, Mystique hits my uh, Psylocke and Colossus chooses to punch her and uh, she fights back with the counter hitting Mystique. However, she misses because of the evade, but this is very important for me. Uh, this is one thing that went my way, although several things go my way in this fight. Um, but it removes the evade from Mystique that I may not have been able to clear otherwise because she's so far away from Strife, who I'm going to be dealing with for a while. So just one quick tip, if you're running Marauders, I highly recommend you put Strife on one end and Mystique on the other. Um, Sinister and Emma are very tanky. They have plenty of health. So is Sabretooth. Any of the three of them could be behind uh, strife and they will be just fine because they can take a lot of hits um, I really wouldn't worry about them too much if you can keep that evade up until sinister sex as second turn um, it will actually be shared by sinister special and then they all get evade so that's that's pretty pretty powerful if you can keep it on there but it's hard to keep on there so anyway let's keep going we get the uh, special from Emma which of course applies slow to everybody Colossus is a big boy so he resisted it and they all get immunity because it is max so here's uh, Emma's diamond form although she's staring off into the uh, abyss somewhere <laughs> um, but Emma's uh, special when max provides immunity to all of her uh, villain mutant allies or whatever um, and that's really important because if it's not max she only gives it to like two or three characters um, so here we're going to do the phoenix special to remove those debuffs this may not actually be the best course of action but it's what i did um, the reason why is because we know sinister has his uh, clone coming up and i'm basically only giving him two targets here and the only reason he has two targets is right there um, Sabretooth hit uh, hit Phoenix down to half health. If he hadn't done that, she would be the only target, and this Sinister here would have to, uh, have to clone Phoenix and have no other choice. I get really lucky here. So, like I said, things went my way a little bit in this fight. Um, but Colossus auto taunted, so he came out of stealth and he made himself a target. So Sinister had a 50-50 chance of getting either Colossus or Phoenix clone. He went with Colossus, uh, which is of course something a player would never do. But the AI is stupid, so we might as well benefit from it. Um, and on that, of course, Sabretooth attacks, Mystique attacks. This is really important to have their passives maxed if you're running Marauders on defense and you're really investing in them. Because those secondary and attacks really, really help drive this team. All right, so we're going to call in the bots finally. Remember, we have negative 10% speed thanks to Emma's passive, so it has taken a little while, a little longer than usual to get them out there, but that's, you know, how it goes. So we're going to go ahead, and I'm trying to dispel all of this stuff off of these guys, especially Mystique, because there's just too many buffs out there. But unfortunately, I hit the clone too, and uh, it doesn't chain to Mystique. So we're still stuck on a 7 red stripe. He's got a gigantic barrier. Uh, that did a total of 50,000 damage beyond the barrier. So we actually don't know how much it did total. Um, but I'm guessing 30% of his health is quite a bit. So we'll see. 
Um, Storm, I get a little bit lucky here too. We got the slow on Sinister and Sabertooth. Sabertooth's not as important, but slowing Sinister does help because it prevents his second turn from coming so soon. And we get a stun on Strife. We don't get the slow, but at least we get the stun. Um, that's pretty helpful because what it does is it makes us uh, skip his ult, which would have done a lot of damage to Phoenix and all the stuff in the middle here and probably wiped quite a few of them because he's seven red. So I got very lucky here. So again, this is not necessarily a great template for what to do against Marauders because I am getting pretty lucky in this fight, but it is doable. It's just, I don't know. I'm just showing what I can because this is what I got in front of me to fight. So in any case, we got the Phoenix uh, flip here to Dark Phoenix. You can see defense down went on most of them, although Emma is uh, resisting it because she has good resist. Uh, I slow the Colossus here, and the reason I chose to do that instead of Sinister is because I know he's about to taunt, and I don't want to get stuck on him and have to deal with him for a while, right? We've gotten through the Stripe taunt, so we're good on him for a little bit. We have to um, focus down what we can, uh, but unfortunately here, don't really have a whole lot of choices. So I'm just trying to dispel stuff and uh, <laughs> get rid of those buffs, although what I should have done was targeted Sinister and tried to dispel the Mystique buffs because those are about to get shared out. Um, but that's what happens. So anyway, we taunt with Colossus here. He is tier 14, which I do recommend for DD3, but also for Alliance War, because this entire attack here is based on him eating a ton of damage from here on out. He has to hold the line so that Dark Phoenix and Ultron can do their thing. Uh, as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of minions to get in Sabretooth's way, so he doesn't really chain to anybody important. And now we're gonna ult this uh, Strife. We take out his barrier again, and do 120k damage on top of that, and he's still in the yellow. <laughs> this is a beefy strife. Um, and then Colossus taunts, he gives them deflex. Uh, so that's a problem. So that's more stuff we got to get through. There's barrier back on strife again. Now he's back up to green with the heals, and it just this is a this is a stout defense. I mean, yeah, there's things that can kill it, but man. This is, this is rough. And then we got the Mystique stealing uh, buffs from Colossus. Uh, we're having to hit this Strife a whole lot to get rid of him. Um, just wasting a ton of time and a lot of abilities on him. But uh, it's worth it. You got to get through him, and then you can fight the rest of the team. Now, I just want to go back here for a sec, because I don't think Colossus gets the... Uh, the credit he deserved because he just did 152k offense up crit uh, against the seven red strife. I think that's pretty badass of him, honestly. I don't know about you guys, but I, Colossus is worth a tier 14, I believe. I, I get plenty of use out of him. Um, now we got the Phoenix ult, which will of course strip a whole bunch of the buffs, although you can see some of them did get blocked and, and resisted. Um, thanks to the deflects and high resistance on Sinister and uh, Colossus. And now we're going to go ahead and finish off this Colossus just because he's low. and Or actually Sabretooth, sorry. Um, just because he's low, because Ultron, whenever he kills somebody, of course, he extends all of his buffs as well as any villain tech characters, which all of his minions are. And I just want to keep them rolling. Uh, keep them going and keep those buffs up and they will do wonders for you. All right, so here we're going to go after Mystique. Uh, she's a big threat because she steals all these buffs and then he potentially shares them out and all that. And she's also a little bit squishy compared to the rest of these guys. So I just want to make sure I get rid of her. And then it should be easy to clean up the rest. All right, so we're going to keep... Uh, well, we don't lay into him because we want the... Or we don't lay into Mystique right there because we want to kill Colossus to keep the buff train going. So when it comes to Ultron, of course, you want to use those buffs as much as you can and keep them on him as much. And you can see I got tons of stacks here now. Um, it, it really makes him a much, much better character if you can get those kills, even if you don't need to, even if it's a bit overkill, uh, just keeping those buffs on him, it'll help him get more turns and keep his minions alive longer and just makes a huge difference. So from here, we're really just cleaning up these two characters that really support the team, um, and finishing them out. And that's really not too bad. Uh, it's pretty easy. But uh, that's that's the fight in a nutshell, and you can see there where I got lucky a few times. Um, I think I think one of the things I would recommend is just don't special with Phoenix initially. Uh, like I said, I got lucky, and uh, they they clone my Colossus instead. If you think your Phoenix can die early enough to where it's not a problem, and then Colossus takes over with the taunt, and then there's nobody else to choose, that could work. Um, 
but you gotta be sure about that turn order make sure that she dies <laughs> otherwise you could be stuck with uh, having to deal with a phoenix and then a dark phoenix as well and that could be pretty spicy if it comes out at the right time when Sinister's sharing his buffs and then you're getting attacked with that ult and they're stripping all your buffs and killing all your bots and whatever else you got so uh here i just go through because i'm just curious to see what is the health of these guys so they do have barracks and med bay up so that's an extra 60 percent health but this emma frost at four red six gold has 373k of health uh 16 000 damage 111 speed which we know um 4900 armor and 12,900 focus and 8900 resistance those are all pretty pretty sizable numbers like this is that is some some crazy power in a new character uh, of course sinister he has 425k health here with uh, six red seven gold um 18,000 damage uh He's only 100 speed, of course, so he's a bit susceptible to slows and everything. Um, but of course, with the team around him, man, he can he can take a beating and feed them health, and it's it's pretty amazing. I really like that character. I'm probably gonna buy my six red on him. A seven red star strife, then a six red star saber tooth. Um, you know, pretty crazy health here. 338k on strife. Um, that's that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then the last one I think was Mystique that I want to look at just to show. She also had 300k health, which I was surprised by. I didn't realize she would be that high with six reds and seven gold, but she is, so uh, good for her. It is also war defense, so they get those passives as well. Um, so there is a bit uh, extra health there. But just wanted to show this uh, this fight. I think it was it was kind of interesting in how it went. Uh, you can see where some of the pitfalls are and and how it could have gone south potentially. Maybe I would have come out of it if they had cloned Phoenix. I don't know. But basically, it's uh, it's not an easy win. Uh, although this is a, a very large punch up of about, what, 150k, I think? Um, somewhere around there. And so it's pretty significant. But, you know, Ultron at 68k or whatever he is with buffs, I think he's like closer to 78 or 80k. Um, you know. It's not really fair to call him that power level because we all know that his buffs from his bots and all the other stuff that he does just it really increases his actual power and we don't really see that right so i think you know it's a little bit uh misleading uh, to use his power as part of that calculation. Yeah, he's 74, 923, but of course he really operates like a 110k character in war. Uh, so assuming he gets his bot bots up and gets to use them. So anyway, huge punch up there. Looks really good. Um, that's how the fight went with them. Obviously you shouldn't extron every Marauders you see. Uh, only really big ones that require it because this team can also take out a Black Order if needed um, and punch up a little bit there sometimes um <laughs> but this is how it went and i just wanted to show that get some exposure on this team and see how hard they are uh, they are definitely a very formidable defense if you don't have the right attack teams uh, you're not going to be able to chip away at them so that is something to consider when it comes to the end of war uh, i think marauders may be one of the teams you really want at the end because it's pretty easy to screw it up right um, i've seen people fail with black order so far i've seen people fail with just straight x-men um, and you know i've seen other stuff like f a, a fantastic four teams of similar power have been able to take these down um, but again it's at very high power levels too so like 500 and something k versus 500 and something k um, so we'll see. I hope to test some of that in the next war uh, when I fight a more reasonable opponent. Um, these guys, Panzer Hulk, are just so much higher power than me. Everything is a giant punch up for me, so it's hard to find it's hard to find a, a good counter here and there because uh, sometimes it takes some uh, it takes a, a lot of t a tries to develop them. Uh, I just figured this one would work just because Extron is so powerful. So I wanted to show it and uh, display it, but of course, again can't always use it so i'll try to find some more in the future break them down and uh, walk through those fights uh, but until then i uh, hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time